Hi, I'm Carla, and for today's five minute tech project, we're gonna use CSS animations to make a magic eight ball website that you can shake, and the magic eight ball will return your fortune. Before we begin, this is a great time to like and subscribe, and let's get started. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your favorite text editor and create three files, a index.html, styles.css, and script.js. We also want to find a picture of a magic eight ball. Uh, you can just find it online and I found it on this website and I saved it. Let's get started on our index HTML document. So we're going to add some important links in our head. Uh, we're going to link to our style sheet and we are going to add bootstrap as well as this really neat font I found on Google fonts. And we're gonna title it the Super Magic 8 Ball. We're gonna create a body, and in that body, we're going to uh, create a div where we're going to put our title, or page title, and we're also going to put the button that will shake it. When it clicks, we are going to uh, execute a shake function, and we will get to that down the road in our JavaScript file. Next, we need to display our uh, eight ball image. And this is where we're gonna display the fortune. It's empty right now. And we also want to make sure that uh, we are calling in our uh, script. So this is what it looks like now, and the shake button does nothing, so let's fix that. We're gonna create a function called shake, and we are going to get uh, the ball element, so our, the image of our ball, and we're also going to get our message text element. This is actually gonna come in handy down the road because this is going to be where the message actually is, and we want to check if the message box exists, uh, because if it does, we wanna get rid of the previous message. So that's what this is doing. Now, uh, when we click it, we want the ball to shake. So we're gonna add a class shake that we are going to build out later on. Now we wanna set a timeout. So what this is going to do is stop the shaking and get rid of the class uh, after a second. And that's how long our shake animation is going to take. Additionally, we only want our fortune message to appear after the ball has stopped shaking, which is after a second. And we're gonna create a get fortune function in a second. So this function is going to generate our fortune. I'm gonna create an array of fortunes and I'm gonna copy and paste. I found these online. There are APIs uh, that do this, but I didn't find any free ones. And we're going to select a random fortune from that array of fortunes. Now we want to find that fortunes div that we just made in our HTML file because we're gonna make uh, an element within it called uh, new message. And that is where we are going to, within a div, uh, within our fortune div, we're going to display our new fortune. and we are going to give an ID of message. And that's what we checked earlier on to make sure it was empty. Now we're gonna set the inner HTML to the fortune plus some quotation marks. Make sure you escape them appropriately. And we are going to add them to the fortune. And this is what it looks like now. You can see down there, that's where the fortune is showing up, but I want it to show up right next to the Magic 8 Ball. So let's fix that, much better. Now let's do the actual shake animation. So we are going to define, uh, using our lovely friend keyframes, what the shake is gonna look like. So essentially it is a uh, transform and translate uh, with a rotation and we are going to define this by percentage. Uh, we'll do this uh, 11 times for zero through 100% and we're just going to have it move back and forth and uh, move at a certain degree. 
I'll save you uh, the tedium and all I just pasted it over. We're gonna give the background a nice pretty color. I chose this cool looking purple. And we're gonna just do some pretty generic things like uh, adding in that font, um, adding padding and margin where needed. All of the code will be in a GitHub repository in the description so you can find everything you need there. Awesome, now let's see what it looks like. And the ball shakes. You can click the shake and it will generate your fortune. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what you think I should make next. I'm always open to suggestions and ideas and I really enjoy making these projects and I really hope you enjoy them as well. Thanks a bunch.